Number one seed Del Barden took on number 17 seed St. Joseph of Metuchen on Wednesday afternoon. Could St. Joe's hold off the mighty Del Barton and pull off the upset of the year? They tried. Goalie Steve Rybeck stopped shot after shot in the first period. When he gave up a rebound, a green jersey was there to clear it out. When the first period ended, not one of the 15 Del Barton shots had gotten through. The second period started with a minute and a half left on a power play for Del Barton, and it proved too much for the valiant St. Joe's defenders. Tommy Davis took it to the net and broke the ice. You'd think St. Joe's would break at this point, but no, Ryback continued to make saves. A magnificent two-on-one pass and a point-blank shot by Patrick O'Meara makes it two to nothing. And that's how it remains until the third period. And then the floodgates opened. Dan Piravano scores the third goal, followed shortly thereafter by Davis Agostino. Piravano scores again. Then it was John Baioko and Tommy Davis gets his second goal. Five goals in six and a half minutes. St. Joe's took a timeout to settle down and it did some good because they were able to put one on the board. And that's how it ended. Del Barton wins seven to one. Felipe Rodriguez, uh, a freshman, dumped it in, went right after it, got the puck. Um, and then Timmy Sheets, another freshman, went in there, helped him out, and I was just out in front with an open net, and he passed it right to me. So it was just right place at the right time. As, as much as we tried to penetrate the zone, they kept us so far out, it was tough to get any really quality scoring chances until the third period. But once we got those, those chances, unfortunately, it was probably about five or six to one at that point, and it was a little bit too late against this team to, to come back. So.